What's going on, everybody? Y'all ready for some more cooking with Jack? Let's get into this. This is keto garlic knots. Here's almond flour, here's garlic powder, salt, mozzarella, egg, garlic, baking powder, Parmesan cheese, cream cheese, and Italian seasoning, and butter. All right, let's mix the dry ingredients first. The almond flour. This has got the baking powder, salt, garlic, and the Italian seasoning. Give that a quick little stir to get it all mixed up. Okay. Now we're all right, by the way, to the people that are not American or even not Italian, I don't know if garlic knots are actually an Italian thing or not, but a garlic knot is basically a breadstick, but smaller, twisted up instead of being like, you know, straight or, you know, cut out like Texas toast. It's kind of like a, like a knot. Like they take the dough and tie it into a knot and then like put garlic butter on it. So that's pretty much what a garlic knot is. And Jack is going to screw this up spectacularly because every time he does something keto, it's never, it's never right. Just like the time that he did the cheese its and he literally just burned cheese in the oven and called her to cheese it. <laughs> just what the, whatever those like pickle cup things were he did where he basically melted cheese and had like a pickle in the middle for some reason. I forgot what that was. I think it was supposed to be like fried pickles, like keto fried pickles or something. And it was just cheese and pickles and it looked really gross. Just... <sighs> Jack's MO anytime you see keto is basically take the carb, make it cheese, that's it. We're gonna pop our cheeses in. Ready? This one, there we go. Good. We'll take By the way, unless you're having cheese filling, garlic knots don't have cheese as an ingredient. Maybe a little bit of shredded parmesan on top of it, but it's mostly bread and garlic butter. Some of our, our mozzarella. Put that in there. Remember the uh, the recipes down below. Okay, now before you mix this, zap this for about 45 seconds. Perfect, it's a little gooey. Give that a good mix. Should be kind of doughy right now. So once you get to this point, go ahead and put your egg in and work that in. You're gonna work that into a dough too. Okay guys, see the egg's all worked in. Looks beautiful. Now you're gonna break this out into eight sections. So now what we're gonna do is take one of these, my hand I just washed. Take one of these, gosh, this is sticky by the way. Roll them into a really thin dough, okay? Uh, I'll show you right now. Now you can see how Tammy's doing it. She's gently rolling it back and forth. Not going loud, that looks like a small IBS turd. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but it looks like a turd. Each one should do that. If it tears apart, stick it back together again. Okay. Once we get it in a nice long shape. <laughs> nice long turd shape. We're going to proceed to try and knot it. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to eat it. So, no need to have perfect. Okay, guys. So, we got... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It literally looks like poop. It looks like yellow poop. Like turds. Look at it. Tell me that doesn't look like something that you would find in your bowl at 9 a.m. After a long night of drinking. Stay hydrated, folks. Got some melted butter in here. Let's doctor this up a little bit with some fresh garlic. A little Italian seasoning. Give that a quick little stir. And start brushing each one. The very last step, take some Parmesan cheese. Because it really needs more cheese, right? You know... I'm not making fun of him, but it's a, it's a fact. Jack has had multiple strokes. Jack doesn't need any more cholesterol, salt, anything that affects your blood pressure. Nothing. The man should be eating like really lean meats and stuff that's not salty at all and not cholesterol at all. He should be really, really, really careful about his heart and his brain. But as you can see... He's stubborn, and nothing has changed, and this one in particular really looks like a pile of dog poop. I'm just saying. Bring on each one. Get all messy with it. This is why we love doing these recipes first. 
Look at it. <laughs> just look at it. It came out just as bad as his keto cheese. It's which were literally just burnt cheese. What is this audience? Burnt cheese again. They're basically cheese. It's and not practice. These look horrible, but they smell amazing. We're hoping that the flavor will overtake how bad these look. We didn't bat on the pound and pound cake. That one still looks like a turd right there. If you look at it, it's kind of wrapped around like a turd. We need to bat on this recipe. I would put these in the refrigerator for a while before you put them in the oven. But uh, once again, these smell good. Garlic, seasoning, cheese. We're gonna dry them in a minute, let them cool. Okay, so at least you guys believe that I really am truthful and I even show you when I fail. The shape we failed on. Jack, you fail constantly. I literally have 30 plus videos, just like this one, link in the pinned comment of you failing on my show. It's an entire series. It's the second biggest series right behind all the boogie videos that I did, which thank God we're past him and we've gone on to something else. I'm so tired of boogie. I'm so tired of the low cow podcast. Maybe we'll get back around to some boogie stuff eventually, but I just can't with him. Right? He's, he's boring. He never does anything funny anymore. Doesn't look like a garlic knot. But the smell smells great. Cheesy. Yeah, we just didn't get the shape. This is really good. Are these good? Yeah. Do they look horrible? Yeah. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next episode. All right, and I love you guys as well. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to help a little bit extra, consider joining the channel as a member and get access to live stream archives and some videos earlier than the public ever will. Thanks for watching. See you next time.